Before I say anything else, let me say this. I didn't really express my opinion in my last video, but what, what Logan Paul did was atrocious. And his inconsideracy was a mockery of a big issue that affects millions, plagues millions, and takes the lives of millions more. And what he did, and his decision to post that video, warrants severe repercussions. Whether that means severe repercussions from YouTube, because let this be known, YouTube fumbled the ball this time. They let down this entire community. Uh, it's especially when people are getting demonetized for little to nothing. They support, not only support, but put that video on the trending page. It was absolutely disgusting and very disappointing. Or even if that means getting banned from Japan. What he did warrants severe, severe repercussions. However, in my opinion, forgiveness is still always, always available to anyone. I believe Logan Paul does deserve to be forgiven, but that doesn't mean we just snap our fingers and say, okay, it's all good, you apologize. No, what it means is he has to go down a road to redemption. He has to redeem himself, and he has to make this a teachable moment, not only for him, but for the millions of fans he has, especially the 400,000 plus that decided to like that video before it got all that widespread hate and negativity. But in my opinion, we should never harbor feelings of hatred towards anyone. It's just so negative and it's so painful and it's such a dark, dark kind of thinking process to have. Thinking process, that's terrible grammar. Th thought process, Dylan. He made an apology video and I'll play a snippet of it right here. Um, and I just hope, I honestly hope that he is genuine in this video and that he understands what he did wrong and that he's willing and that he will make up for it to those like Gaijin because honestly what Gaijin said that Logan Paul may have tarnished an image that he has been building up for foreigners for over 15 years I hope Logan Paul is either able to make up for it take responsibility and clean up the image that he may have messed up of foreigners in Japan he issues an apology and he does what it takes to make amends and then along with that he has to somehow be punished but let me play that snippet of Logan Paul's apology, and I'll leave it up to you to decide whether or not it's genuine or not. For my fans who are defending my actions, please don't. They do not deserve to be defended. Um, the goal with my content is always to entertain, to push the boundaries, to be all-inclusive. In the world I live in, I share almost everything I do the intent is never to be heartless, cruel, or malicious. Uh, like I said, I've made a huge mistake. I don't expect to be forgiven. I'm just here to apologize. I'm going to connect this to anime, but um, in Koino Katache, you had Ishida, right? He messes up, he bullies Nishimiya, and then he gets tormented because he got scapegoated after um, the issue with her hearing aid, right? Because the police came in and threatened him. And if you haven't watched the movie, you may not get that reference, but go watch Koi no Katachi right now, because oh my gosh. But what, what Ishida did is he went on a long road to redemption, right? He suffered, but at the end of the day, he made amends and he just, he came to terms with what he did. He understood what he did wrong and he moved forward. And that, <laughs> as funny as it sounds, is exactly what Logan Paul has to do. Because I've been seeing death threats on my video in the comments below, on other YouTubers' videos in the comments. I've been seeing people threatened to, like, they should die, they should burn to death, they should just all these uh, terrible, terrible things and realize you are stooping to such a low level if you did think like that. I understand. The anger i understand the initial reaction but i think everybody i keep saying this but everybody deserves forgiveness i guess my point of view is first of all is that my christian belief i believe that jesus christ saved us from our sins and he did a lot more forgiving than any of us ever could it also comes from just as me as a person i've been wronged many times in my life uh, verbally and physically um but i've forgiven because i don't want to harbor those anxious feelings uh, and those angry feelings and i guess that's why i advocated because of my personal beliefs but at the end of the day it's up to you whether or not you forgive him whether or not you think um 
his apology was real or not. And that's what I was going to ask you guys. Do you think that his apology was genuine? Do you put stock into it? Or do you think it was just a PR ploy and that he's just trying to save his ass? I mean, obviously that's what he's trying to do, but do you think he was genuine and do you think he's learned a lesson and that his fans will as well? Let me know down in the comments below. And once again, guys, I want to remind you to stay strong and love yourselves. I tell you at the end of every video, but I think right now is especially important. Um, you have your highs and you have your lows, and I know it's easy for me to tell you that, and it's another to actually implement it in your life. But the least I can do is encourage you, let you know that, you know, my DMs are open, other YouTubers' DMs are open, my comments are open, I'll talk to you if you're having issues, others will talk to you if you're having issues. They have a suicide hotline, please use that. If you're having troubles, vent, let out your feelings. It, that can honestly be the best therapy. In a very twisted way, and this is me trying to be optimistic, but in a very twisted way, this has brought even more light, shed even more light on suicide awareness and maybe it's given many more countless countless venues to go and talk about their struggles while logan paul did get a lot like six million on his video before he deleted it countless countless youtubers have come out speaking against that and advocating suicide awareness and not only that but opening their arms and embracing those that need help i've seen many youtubers say look we're here for you always here for you so if you need somebody to talk to just come here that is a beautiful thing to me and that's something i think we can take a positive out of in this situation with that being said guys i will see y'all next video peace out